An evaluation of the pandemic has led to the loss of about 1 billion people worldwide, and this has led to fear, worry, and depression in the lives of many. Based on these alarming statistics, the World Health Organization, WHO, held a press briefing to address the mental health of people in Africa. Plus TV Africa's Iseme Omokai joined the webinar and brings us this report. No thanks to COVID-19 pandemic, many have lost members of their families and loved ones, thereby leading to an urgent need for mental health services. According to WHO survey, about 130 countries globally are experiencing a disrupt in access to critical mental health service. Thus, there is an urgent call for increased funding in the mental health sector. Government expenditure per capita on mental health is low globally at $2.50 per person. In the African region, this drops to less than 10 cents per capita. This reaffirms the importance of increasing investments in mental health and building the realization of its importance and its place in priorities in decision-making in health. With many people facing increased levels of alcohol, abuse of drugs, insomnia and anxiety, the WHO sees a surge of mental illnesses due to COVID-19 in Africa, ranging from psychosocial distress, worry, depression. The patient in hospital saw a sudden rise in alcohol use disorders since bars and drinking places were shut down. UTH had recorded 45 admissions in one single day because of alcohol-dependent withdrawal symptoms of varying severity. This is a medical emergency, the highest incident rate to date. Treatment-seeking attitudes towards mental health have further worsened because of COVID-19. As alcohol use disorders are a leading cause of admission, however, when screened, they are comorbid with other mental illnesses such as mood and anxiety in practice. Now, people who survived COVID-19 developed psychosocial distress, including their family members who have been stigmatized against. Up to 20% of this population has developed acute stress disorder. Is there a rise? Yes, there is a surge of mental illnesses that have been perpetuated by COVID-19. As the pandemic continues, even greater demand will be placed on national and international mental health programs that have suffered from years of chronic underfunding. For PLOS TV Africa, Iseme Omohai.